Excitement for FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar is off the charts. Millions have gathered in Doha to witness the matches unfold and revel in the festivities. Forcing to turn away thousands of fans from a concert on the eve of kickoff, this highlights a major problem that Doha will be facing in the coming days. With over 1.2 million people still set to arrive, Qatar is likely to face trouble in managing crowds and organizing events. The police and security guards guided thousands of people away from the concert. The event had reached its maximum capacity of 40,000 before people were asked to turn away. Most visitors complied with the request to leave. They relied on giant foam fingers, bullhorns, and blinking traffic control ones to avoid commotion. It's hard to also imposed a ban selling beer in the stadiums. This means that fan zones will be the only feature associated area for drinking. This raised concerns overcrowding. So even though it's very expensive, English fans, we like to have a beer and then it gives us uh, our um, supporting voice. We get singing, we get chanting. But yeah, we, we can live without it, we can live without it. But I've come here to go to the, into the fan zone tonight, the FIFA fan zone. I've arrived now, I think it was open from 4 through till 2 a.m. Uh, and it's full, it's full, I can't get access to it. Meanwhile, Qatar officials said that they were delighted with the opening of fan zones. Qatar has spent over $200 billion to improve infrastructure ahead of the World Cup. This includes a new underground metro system connecting travelers from airports to stadiums. Most shops, restaurants and other tourist destinations are packed with people. With more fans set to fly in soon, the situation is only going to intensify further. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.